Every year, the seniors spend the night on Edwards Island. It's a Kamina High tradition. Everyone, this is Jonas, Alex's new stepbrother from... I already forgot where. Yeah, he's cool, so be nice. Oh, we won't bite. Oxen Free is a narrative game made by X Telltale developers. It tells the story of five senior high school teenagers who embark on an annual adventure to an island. Although this time things end up a little different. The first thing to take notice about the game is its graphics and art style. It's a side scroller with 3D textures. While at first glance I didn't really take note of it, this glamorous style soon grew on me and some sections of the game just look spectacular, especially in the darker parts of the story. You play as Alex, a girl whose personality is controlled by you. Even her past, as you will learn through the flashbacks in the game, is controlled by your choices. You can be a jerk to everyone or be everyone's best friend. It's entirely up to you, and this is what I found particularly amazing about the game. While the actual choices on what happens to the main plot aren't that in depth and don't make as much a difference as I had hoped, the actual chemistry between the characters are completely different upon how you speak to them, which in turn will change how they speak to you. The gameplay of this game is mainly walking through the environments, while talking to one or some of the quirky, stereotypical, but somewhat unique characters. From Ren, your annoying best friend, to Clarissa, your friend, who seems to have a grudge on you. Although, how you handle it and the consequences are completely up to you. It's also the voice acting that completely seals the deal with these characters. I've heard these voices from some old Telltale games, but they sounded different, but in a good way. The voices really made me think that these characters were real people, and not just artificial intelligence running on code. Another part of the gameplay is its dialogue, or how you talk to the characters. The text appears on the screen, and you click them as you're moving along through the environment as the characters talk. Although I found that if you interact with something, or press a dialogue prompt while the person is talking, the person immediately stops. While it isn't much of a big deal, it annoyed me a little, as I wanted to finish hearing someone talk, but I also wanted to say something. Although, most of the time this happened, the dialogue was just filler, and it didn't tie in much with this main story. Another gripe I have with this game is how slow the beginning starts off. I was getting bored, but luckily not so bored to the extent that I was forcing myself through. However, I lost my boredom when I met all the characters and saw all the beef between them in the first scene when they are all together. And then when the main plot is finally shown, I was hooked until the very end. Even though I felt like my choices of how I spoke towards the characters were completely different when I was told the conclusion of them compared to how I acted towards them. But it didn't matter much to me as this game is definitely more than the journey than it is its destination. Additionally, the game has a somewhat disappointing music score, which should have matched the mystical and grand environments, didn't. Even so, the game is pretty wonderful. It's a great art style, story with amazing character development, talented voice acting, and a great world filled with lore which forces you to play the game again if you wish to uncover everything about Edwards Island. We give this game 4 out of 5.